How about a magic trick? Let's wind the clocks back a year. These cops and lawyers wouldn't dare cross any of you. What happened? Did your, did your balls drop off? We can tell you, based on the results that we've seen so far, the Conservatives will be re-elected tonight as government. Tonight, Canadians have voted to move our country forward, and they have done so with confidence. Their code. It's a bad joke. Dropped at the first sign of trouble. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. Mr. Speaker, the next fiscal year will be difficult. Today, our government is eliminating the $1.75 per vote taxpayer subsidy for politicians and their parties, effective April 1st, 2009. Introduce a little anarchy. The opposition parties found out about this measure in the update about the per vote subsidy being eliminated, which they consider to be the government asking them to swallow a suicide pill. We will vote against this plan. I'm sick and tired of it, Mr. Speaker, and I think Canadians are too. There's no stimulus package. There's nothing in the auto sector. There's nothing on forestry. They've got to come back and give us something that unites parliamentarians instead of dividing them. What they're suggesting is that the, uh, that the government would be defeated in the House and that an approach would be made by opposition parties with a proposal whereby they think they could govern. We'll consider a coalition. We are tired of sitting down. Is that clear? The opposition has been working on a backroom deal to overturn the results of the last election. They want to install a coalition that they explicitly promised not to support. The Van Dion and the NDP plan to make this happen by accepting the support of a party that wants to destroy the country. On December the 8th, the House of Commons will have an opportunity to vote on the opposition's attempt to overturn the results of the last election. It's the schemers that put you where you are. You were a schemer. You had plans. And uh, look where that got you. I'm very pleased to announce that we are ready to form a new government. This will be a liberal-led government in collaboration with the New Democratic Party and with the support of the Bloc Québécois. Let me be very clear. Canada's government cannot enter into a power-sharing coalition with a separatist party. Tonight, I pledge to you that Canada's government will use every legal means at our disposal to protect our democracy, to protect our economy, and to protect Canada. And if you're just joining us, the Prime Minister live at Government House after meeting with the Government General. The General has agreed to prorogue Parliament. When Parliament resumes on January 26th, the first order of business will be the presentation of a federal budget. Stéphane Dion finally conceded today he must step down. Michael Ignatieff is now officially the leader of the Federal Liberal Party. Now, what happens to the coalition? It's not about money. It's about sending 